I've been in a lot of street fights whenever I was growing up. I've I've never I've never really been jumped like that by just two guys. I've never had just two guys trying to jump on me, and I've I've always you know wanted that opportunity. Honestly, I I've always thought that you know if two average Joes jump on me, they better know how to fight. And uh, you know that night, whenever whenever I turned around. And there was a bunch of guys already recording. I knew that I had to fight. So I, I was actually, you know, I welcomed it. They kicked us out of the club. So we just, we went on home and, um, I, you know, really nothing else to it. You know, we went, we went back to the house, had a few more drinks. But yeah, we, we carried on like it was just a normal night, of course. But, uh, you know, I, I, I tried to tell everyone that night because that, whenever it happened, uh, I had like, 10 of my buddies there with me. They, they were all in the club, but they were all out on the dance floor. And I just went to the bathroom to take a leak. And uh, I wasn't in there like a minute, maybe, and wound up getting you know, in the little altercation. I come out, man, and I had a, I had a little a little mark on my eye. I guess it was, I guess it was from uh, either, I don't know if it was from the one guy that landed a few punches or if it was from them trying to eye gouge me. But I had a little cut on my eye. And uh, I had a little bit of a black eye, and I was telling all my buddies, I was like, man, I won that fight. I swear, I, I whooped them both. And they were like, yeah, I'm sure you did. You know, you could tell that they they didn't really believe me. Well, then the, the next day, uh, my buddy Brock Weaver, he said, hey, man, I saw you working two dudes in the bathroom style at the club last night on Snapchat. I said, how'd you see that? I said, man, send me that video. And he sent me the video, and I was like, man, I, I went around showing all my buddies. I was like, I told y'all I didn't get whooped. I told y'all. I told y'all I won, you know, and then they actually, they actually believed me after that. The only thing that really even kind of compared to that was street fight-wise. Um, when I was in high school, uh, I, got, I got in a fight. I, I got in a fight with one black guy, and it was pretty much all of his buddies jumped, man. There was probably like... 30 guys jumped on me and I had like four or five of my buddies helping me out. And, you know, it was just an all out brawl. You know, uh, I got in a fight with the, with the first guy and I dropped him and, uh, he, he fell to his knees and all of his buddies come run up, started jumping me. And then, uh, all my buddies, you know, run up behind them and started, you know, getting a few licks in. And then, you know, of course, all the teachers came, you know, and then once the teachers came, the 30 guys, they scattered like rats, and and uh, me and my buddies, there was only five of us, so of course we got hemmed up and taken to the back office, got suspended and all that good stuff. I've I've been in a lot of street fights, though, man. I, I've had 36 MMA fights, and I probably had twice as many street fights whenever I was a kid, and, you know, what, what's crazy uh, besides that one time that I got jumped, I think I've been in like one or two other street fights since I was 14 years old when I started fighting MMA. But man, I'm telling you, from probably a five-year-old kid up until I was 14, I, I used to get in five or six a year, you know, in schools and stuff like that. School, the skating rink, uh, you know, football games, just wherever. If somebody talked crazy, they acted like they wanted to fight, we were fighting. You know, it's just something I love.